Hello. In this video, I'll show you how to upgrade your indexes after you've upgraded Enterprise Vault from version 9 to version 10. There are many reasons to upgrade your indexes once you've upgraded to Enterprise Vault 10. For example, Enterprise Vault 10 has an all-new 64-bit indexing engine, and this can utilize more memory on your machine than the older indexing engine. Updates and searching can happen concurrently, whereas with the old style indexing, these operations could lead to each blocking the other. The new engine has two indexing levels, brief and full. Any archives which were set to medium indexing level prior to Enterprise Vault 10 will be automatically set to full. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see a reference to a tech note, which lists many of the other advantages of upgrading to Enterprise Vault 10. Remember that upgrading indexes does not have to be done immediately after an upgrade to Enterprise Vault 10, but at some stage you will want to upgrade the indexes to 64-bit, and it's recommended to do this before any further upgrades to Enterprise Vault take place in the future. Here we see a freshly upgraded Enterprise Vault 10 environment. It was previously running Enterprise Vault 9. Prior to the upgrade of the indexes, each of the original archives will have two index volumes, the original 32-bit index volume and the new 64-bit index volume. The original 32-bit index volume will no longer be written to and all subsequent indexing will be processed as 64-bit. This means that when doing a search, the search will be federated across the 32-bit and 64-bit index volumes. This is one of the advantages of upgrading to 64-bit indexing, as after the upgrade, there'll only be one 64-bit index volume to process. All new archives created after the upgrade to Enterprise Vault 10 will have just one 64-bit index volume. Let's see some of these things in the Vault Admin Console. Here in the Vault Admin Console, if we go to the Indexing node and wait a few seconds for the page to display, we'll see that we have a bunch of 32-bit indexes, like so. If we open the Index Volume Browser from the link on the Indexing Summary page, we'll see that for each archive we've got the current Low to High Index Volume, and then another Not Yet Created Index Volume, which goes from the highest index sequence number plus one upwards. You can see that the first of those volumes is described as 32-bit, and the second, which hasn't been activated yet, is 64-bit. If you look at the properties of one of my demo archives, I can see on the Index Volumes tab that there are 32-bit and 64-bit index volumes, as we see here. So with the information in the Index Volumes browser, and here on the properties of the archive, we can determine that each archive has two index volumes now, but the 64-bit index volume is technically not yet created. If we were to do an archiving run now, then we'd see that these 64-bit indexes would get created for those archives where items are picked up and archived. We'll do that now and see what happens. In my environment, this will take just a few minutes to run, and we can monitor the progress with the new to Enterprise Vault 10.0.3 mailbox archiving report. Here we can see that the archiving task is running, and we can monitor the progress by clicking on this link here. Now the archiving task has finished processing our mailboxes, if we go back to the indexing node in the VAC, we'll see a very different story with regards to the archives and index volumes. Here you see that we have the original number of 32-bit indexes, and now we have some newly created 64-bit index volumes. Now what you would do over a period of time, depending on the size of your environment, is to upgrade these old 32-bit indexes to new 64-bit indexes. We've just seen that new data is already been written to new, freshly created 64-bit index volumes. To start the upgrade, we launch the Manage Indexes wizard and choose Upgrade. Note that this upgrade option in the wizard is only available if you have upgraded Enterprise Vault. It's not visible for fresh installs of Enterprise Vault 10. 
Now the thing to remember here is that this isn't any kind of ordinary upgrade. It does not upgrade the old index volume to 64-bit. It will in fact recall every item from storage and re-index it. Think index rebuild rather than upgrade. So now we would pick some archives to upgrade. I would recommend that you do a handful first of all and then divide up the rest of your archives and do the upgrade in batches. How many items in a batch and how many batches will depend on your environment and how long you can keep the indexing administration task running. Here I'm going to add my first four archives. You can see now from the monitor indexing task screen that the task I created to upgrade these index volumes goes to an active state. If the task doesn't go active, it might mean that your index administration task is not yet in schedule. You can fix the schedule, or wait, or you can go to the task and do a run now on it. Clicking on the task will bring up some more detail. You can click refresh on this screen to see the progress through the index volumes. It obviously takes some time to process the indexes, and the video will now go into fast forward mode to show you the progress through the rebuild right the way through to completion. And there we have it, the upgrade finished for those archives. The archive we viewed earlier showed a 32-bit index volume and a 64-bit index volume. If we go back to it now and bring up the properties and then go to the index volumes tab, we see now just a single 64-bit index volume. In summary then, we've seen a number of advantages and improvements that have been made to indexing in Enterprise Vault 10. One thing to be aware of is the late breaking news tech note. There is an important update in this tech note relating to rebuilding indexes with Enterprise Vault 10. Essentially, you should read through this late breaking news article and more specifically the tech note about indexing. There are links to appropriate fixes given in the tech note. This information is changing all the time and this is correct as of April 2013. In order to do your index volume upgrades, you need to decide on batches that you'll process together. Do a small batch first and wait for it to complete. Then you can either add all the index volumes in at once and control the schedule using the index administration task, or better, do batches individually. Remember that an upgrade takes old 32-bit indexes and rebuilds them as 64-bit index volumes. Rebuild is also available in the Manage Indexes wizard, but this is purely rebuilding a 64-bit EV10 index volume and does not touch the old-style index volumes. I hope that showing you how to upgrade Enterprise Vault indexes proves useful to you. Thank you. Goodbye.